my name is Anna and today I'm gonna to talk about five cool things and facts about Finland that you probably never heard of and I didn't know about them before I moved to Finland. So let's start with the happiest one. Happiness and equality. Finland is the happiest country in the world in 2019 according to UN's Global Happiness Report. This year's happiness report focused on happiness and the community, actually on how happy citizens perceive themselves to be. The report was evaluating six variables – GDP or gross domestic product per capita, social support, health life expectancy, freedom to make life choices, freedom from corruption and generosity. And Finland was on the top of the list second year in a row. Well, let's go to the equality. The equality and happiness are actually connected. That's why I put them in the same category. You probably wonder why. Finland is one of the most gender equal countries in the world. Of course, you can debate a lot about it. There's still a lot of issues, but every year it's getting better and better. And talking about happiness, the equality and happiness are actually connected and it's been scientifically proven. According to most studies, those countries that are the most gender equal are also the highest on the happiness scale. Well, Finland, here you go! Let's start with the facts. Did you know that Finland was the first country in the world that grant full political rights to vote to both men and women already in 1906? Another fun fact, 42% of members of parliament in Finland are women. 49% of all employed people in Finland are women. I think that says it all. I have to say that personally I feel a lot happier in Finland, even in those periods when I was unemployed. I did feel some kind of security because of social security system which works pretty fine. Second cool thing about Finland. Finland is not part of Scandinavia. I didn't know about it. I thought, okay, Scandinavia, it's all these bunch of like Norway, Sweden, Finland. No, it's not like that. And here are a few reasons why Finland is not part of Scandinavia. Let's start with the language one. Finland was for such a long time part of Swedish Kingdom. Swedish still stayed as official language in Finland because so many people speak Swedish here. But here's the thing. Swedish language, together with Norwegian and Danish, come from North Germanic group of languages, whereas Finnish comes from Finno-Ugric group of languages. To me, the most logical one is geographical reason. Finland is not part of Scandinavian peninsula, whereas Sweden and Norway are. Denmark is not either, but because of the historical reasons, it's still considered to be part of Scandinavian countries. Even though Finland is not a Scandinavian country, you can still call it Nordic country due to its northerly location. Let's start with third one. I'm calling third one numbers. Let's start with the land of thousand lakes. Finland has 188,000 lakes, which is more lakes in relation to its country's size than any other country in the world. It's also super water-rich country when it comes to water per person and I have to say I've never had better water from a tap than in Finland. The average Finn consumes 12 kilos of coffee per year. I don't drink coffee but what I've seen at work with my co-workers or with friends or with my boyfriend they drink insane amount of coffee. Some people even drink 10 cups of coffee per day. I'm not judging, I'm just a little bit in shock because I'm not a coffee drinker, so it looks like you're gonna have a heart attack when you drink that much coffee per day. Finland has more saunas than cars per capita. It is considered that Finland has about 2 million saunas and there's only 5.5 million people in this country. Going to the freezing fact! The coldest temperature ever measured in Finland was minus 51.5 degrees Celsius and it was measured in the city of Kittila. Let's forget about those crazy numbers. This is my dog audio and she's gonna disturb me once in a while while I'm doing the videos, but it's okay. Say hi. Finland is a food allergy heaven and why I'm so happy about it because I myself have a food allergy slash intolerance and I actually got discovered here. I'm so happy about it because Finland actually saved my life, that's how I like to call it. Finland, thank you for saving my life. I got discovered that I have a celiac disease when I moved here only like a few months after moving here and I also discovered that I have a lactose intolerance. What is also cool about this fact is that most of the people 
I would say everyone in this country knows about celiac disease and they know about all these intolerances and allergies. I read an interesting article recently which said that locals know as much about celiac disease as they know about heavy metal music. And heavy metal music is so big here, which means that everyone knows about celiac disease. And this is really cool, this is really great, because for me, having a celiac disease, not being able to eat gluten, and with the lactose intolerance, not being able to eat lactose from milk products, I'm really, I feel like I'm in heaven. Wherever I go, in whichever restaurant I go, or at the smallest supermarket, I'm always gonna find a replacement food. For example, gluten-free flour, gluten-free bread products, uh, pastries, lactose-free milks, yogurts, and stuff like that. Also, if you go to a ready restaurant, even in the smallest one, or a coffee shop that serves pastries, you're always gonna find something that suits your allergy. For example, nut allergy or any kind of other type of allergies. Let's go to the fifth fact. Finland has eco-friendly culture and green lifestyle. And it says it all. Finland 35% of Finnish power comes from renewable resources and they're planning to have it by 2050 up to 50%. The Most of it comes from the wind power. What I love about it here is that Finns actually do take care of their environment. They try to keep everything clean, the nature, the environment. One of the hard things when I moved here was recycling. I know it might seem weird for Finns listening to this, but actually in my country we do recycle, for example, bottles and maybe glass, but not as many things as Finns do recycle. Okay, what is really cool that almost every building, or at least if not your building, then the neighborhood building will have trash bins for every single plastic, metal, glass, paper, carton and mixed waste. And even, I, do, I think once or twice a year, big container comes in front of your building and then you can throw big furniture in there. What is really cool is that even the smallest supermarkets have a recycling station to return bottles to. And instead of getting money, you get a voucher and you can spend that money in the store. That was really, really a beautiful thing to learn and to live like that because I was not doing that before in my country. Even though Finland has still a lot to do to preserve its nature and the environment, I have to say that Finland is improving every single year. Big thumbs up to Finland. Thank you so much for watching the video today and next video is a little bit different. I'm gonna take you to a low-budget adventure to Santa Claus City of Rovaniemi where I was last week. And uh, what does this low-budget adventure mean? You have to see it yourself, subscribe, check out the video next week and you're gonna know more about it. Bye!